uh, my second uh, uh, film will be dedicated to different form or methods of philosophizing, namely confessions. So we had uh, letters that someone who uh, would like to share his or her ideas, uh, philosophical ideas, uh, but perhaps uh, on the first uh, look, uh, it doesn't looks, uh, does not look like uh, philosophical ideas, but nevertheless, after a uh, certain period of time, could be seen as such because of uh, its impact on uh, uh, human culture. And the same uh, you can uh, find uh, confessions. Uh, I mean, the, the uh, certain way to tell your life story, autobiographical writings, and uh, certain uh, accounts of uh, personal life uh, were so influential that uh, now is seen uh, this type of, of, of books as a philosophical way uh, to uh, shape uh, uh, cultural context, religious context, philosophical context. And I will have here two examples. The one is uh, perhaps you read already this, uh, or you are familiar with, or you heard about, or if not, you can look uh, easily because everything is available online, uh, in internet, particularly classical uh, philosophical text. And between them is uh, exactly uh, confessions, entitled like this, Confessiones. It was written in Latin by uh, one of the most uh, uh, influential uh, thinker of um, uh, 4th uh, and 5th century of Common Era, uh, Saint um, Augustine. He is considered uh, even as a doctor of the church. Uh, he is considered as uh, one who baptized, so to say, Plato. It means that he took uh, Platonic ideas and uh, he uh, puts uh, inside these ideas uh, Christian uh, content. Uh, but uh, why confessions uh, could be a way to philosophizing, to uh, transmit your philosophical idea, ideas to others. So let us uh, look briefly into this uh, type uh, of confessions, which we have available in all possible languages, uh, because uh, confessions by Augustine were translated uh, uh, and are translated in, 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 in the modern time again and again, because we have a very vivid transcription uh, of very vivid account of changing of your lifestyle, of changing of your uh, personal views. So sometimes perhaps uh, you can think that to be a philosopher, coherent, uh, uh, very good philosopher means that you, from the almost beginning, you have clear ideas about uh, the reality, about other people, about uh, sense of life, uh, the purpose of life, etc. Uh, but uh, thanks to confessions, which usually are written at the end of life of mature person who uh, can uh, go through different stage of his or her life, and in a vivid form, you can almost look closely as we are looking in the film or in the uh, reading a, a book. Uh, but in this case, it's exactly an account of someone 
who was deeply immersed in one culture, in this case, a Latin culture, a culture of Roman Empire, uh, and as you know, uh, Romans uh, were not very original philosopher. They translated uh, from uh, Greek into Latin uh, Greek philosophy, and uh, someone, as Augustine, in this first, second, third, fifth century of our common era, they were like living in this uh, time where uh, we assist on this syncretic uh, context of different ideas, right? So the young Augustine was like fascinated by um, rhetoricians, the people who were, uh, were able uh, with the, the use of language to shape a, 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 ideas and also to influence the audience. So he wanted to be a rhetorician. She, he wanted to use his ability, uh, linguistic ability, to influence other people. So it was his, uh, his uh, uh, life dream to become a celebrity, we can say today. So, so to become an influential uh, lawyer, uh, influential uh, public figure. Uh, but in certain moment, he discovered that manichaeism was very interesting. Uh, means that a certain type of philosophy where uh, in our life, uh, there are two forces, uh, positive and negative. Uh, they are fighting inside us. So you have a very clear understanding of human nature as bad, evil, and good, and you have to, to make a choice. So he was like, you know, immersed again in this new world of ideas, etc., etc. But once in Milan, uh, Milan, I mentioned Milan uh, in connection with uh, Carlo Maria Martini, so we have <laughs> again uh, Milan here, uh, but it's Milan of fourth century where the very important bishop was there, Bishop Ambrosius, and uh, once uh, Augustine heard his uh, speech and was so struck by novelty, by originality of what this uh, bishop said, that he discovered Christianity as something for him. And what is uh, in interesting and perhaps uh, very uh, important for consequences, that Augustine brought with him from this Manichaic the previous fascin philosophical fascination that our body is something evil, is full of um, uh, bad uh, tendencies, that you are, you know, tempted by your body to commit uh, sins, etc. So he rejected a body as something evil. He it became a uh, very uh, exemplary, so to say, uh, Christian who uh, detested uh, body, sex, erotism, everything which was associated with body was for Augustine something wrong and evil. And, uh, you know, it, he was so persuasive in, in, in the way how he experienced uh, his uh, uh, life, his emotions, that it became extremely influential, that people reading him uh, thought in the same way. And what is uh, perhaps the most important, and this is why I uh, address this uh, book and this way of presenting uh, your philosophical ideas, that you, uh, as, um, as your life, that you became uh, the topic of your philosophizing, uh, or, or your way of living, and you are even 
uh, asking others to follow you, to imitate you. And uh, the consequences uh, were disastrous uh, because uh, Christianity, thanks to Augustine, became a very hostile uh, type of philosophy toward the uh, uh, human body, to toward erotism, toward sexuality, etc., etc. So you see that sometimes uh, very personal experiences became influential and uh, could have a negative uh, influence on uh, other people. Uh, to conclude, uh, I would uh, say that uh, for um, Augustine, the most important uh, dimension of human life is living with God. And uh, his ideas were so timing, so well received, that this is the reason why he is considered a founding father of Christian spirituality, Christian philosophy. And I think we have to be aware that uh, many ideas which we consider today as a Christian ideas uh, are really Augustinian ideas. And this is the reason why many people considered him as um, a negative model of philosophizing. So sometimes this uh, taking too seriously your own psychological problems and to uh, share them with others are not necessarily a good contribution to philosophy. So as you see, my, my evaluation of Augustine and of his influence on, uh, on the Western world is not very positive. Uh, but you can have, of course, uh, different ideas and I will be very much interested to hear your comments. Uh, what do you think uh, could be a personal uh, life experience, a good source for uh, philosophy. And the second example is a, a completely different type of uh, confessions, uh, is uh, well known uh, with the French title pensée. Pensée means uh, thoughts. Uh, they are pensée or thoughts by uh, Pascal, Blaise Pascal, a mathematician, a very brilliant mathematician of 17th century, but few of us perhaps are familiar with his uh, mathematical discoveries, but many of us are familiar, uh, familiar with his uh, personal accounts, personal thoughts, exactly these thoughts or pensée, and uh, this is the an extremely logical way to, um, to struggle with mystery of life. So many people are fascinated by uh, Pascalian wave of dealing with the paradoxical dimension of life. It's good to believe or not. God exists or not. What it means uh, that my heart is so... Um, in quiet, no, is is not in peace with myself. But it was the very personal note. So sometimes there are people, scientists, uh, mathematician, physician, biologist, etc., etc., who are good in their own field, but on the margin of the professional activities, they are writing some thoughts not connected with the professional life. And in fact, uh, uh, Pascal never published uh, his uh, uh, pensée, his thought, but many people considered it as a very inspiring, and in fact, uh, it's translated into Polish by uh, Wojciechowski, who 
personally was not interested in religion, but from linguistic point of view, uh, he found it extremely interesting. So also this kind of uh, personal notes could be a method of philosophizing. So I'm waiting for your reaction to this.